Look at the tropics. It is active out there and you know it looks like it is late August. We've got three different areas we're tracking. This is an invest. This is an invest. These will likely stay out into the Atlantic, at least for the time being. So really no reason to worry about those as they're way on out there and they may never get far west. They may just simply lift to the north. The one we're watching closer to home is uh, this tropical wave. It's not an invest yet and there's really not much to it. That's where the tropical wave is and it doesn't look like it's going to do anything throughout the rest of the really the work week. But by this weekend, it's going to get over here in the Western Caribbean from here to here and then start to drift to the northwest towards the Yucatan. And it does look like it will probably try to organize at least somewhat. It's going to be in a little bit better of an environment and most models do at least show a low pressure trying to develop in this area. So the chance of this developing is going to likely go on up and I would don't be surprised if that continues to go up to 60, 70, 80, 90% as we go throughout the next couple of days. Then the big question becomes, well, what's going to, where's this thing going to go? And it all has to do with the high pressure. Right now the high pressure is pretty strong, but a lot of models have been showing that it could try to weaken by maybe Monday or Tuesday and whatever is down there is going to ride around that high pressure. So if that high pressure is still pretty strong over Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, it would be hard for this tropical system or whatever it may be to get this far uh, towards the east. But if it is weak enough, you know, it may try to creep further into the Gulf. Just one of those things we're going to have to watch. Fortunately, we still have about six, seven days to keep an eye on this thing and see what it's going to do and see what this high pressure is going to do. But it is still quite a ways out there, but certainly something we need to watch, especially Mexico, Texas right now. But I'll say we're not taking our eyes off of it just yet. A lot of people are always so interested in this dust and there is quite a bit of dust out there right now, meaning there's a lot of dry air, but there, that dry air is going to start to uh, lessen as we go into early next week. Notice we'll get that round of dust. It'll move on through and yeah, there'll still be some dry air in the Gulf of Mexico early next week. The big question on just how much and is it going to have an effect on that system? Just something we're going to have to wait and see how it evolves over the coming days. By the way, we are headed into the ice storm and statistically speaking, the ice storm is the most retired name, meaning uh, usually ice storms live up to something. We'll see. They don't always, but the next name is Ida and then after Ida, Julian and Kate and then so forth on to Larry. So our seven day forecast, nothing to worry about in the tropics through the weekend. It doesn't look like we will be watching that tropical wave, though. You need to be checking in probably at least daily at this point to make sure nothing too crazy there, but we're just staying hot and humid with increasing rain chances through the rest of the week.